This feels surreal. I never thought that I would live to see the day where you can play retro games on your iPhone without the need of a jailbreak or side loading. I don't think a lot of people realize that this is a monumental moment for the App Store since these emulator applications were frowned upon for over a decade by Apple and were never allowed into the App Store until recently. So in this video, I wanna show you how to play these old retro games on your iPhone for free. So this application is called Delta, and this is the best emulator application ever for the iPhone. Now, this is not a brand new application. It's been around for a while, but it was only accessible through side loading or jailbreaking in the past, but now it has officially launched on the App Store. And you can see that my Rewind Wallpaper Collection did a pretty good job of emulating the Game Boy and all of these other retro devices, which you can download this wallpaper pack by clicking on the link down in the description below. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the app. So let's go into the App Store and we're going to look for Delta. So here is the Delta application in the App Store. I will leave a direct link to this application in the description below as well if you do not want to search for it. But this is what it looks like. And when you download it and you go to open up the application, this is what you will see. So you're just going to see most likely a blank screen unless you had, you know, ROMs already downloaded previously, which you likely have not. But this is what you see. So it's going to be categorized by Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, and so on. You can see up top. Now, the supported game systems as of now are NES, SNES, Nintendo 64, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, and Nintendo DS. However, the developer has said that more game systems are on the way. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to download games first, and then I'm gonna go through some of the important settings that you need to know within the Delta application afterwards. So the first thing you need to know is that you're gonna be downloading ROMs, not games. So ROMs are the special files that contain the game's data. So just, you know, kind of just keep a mental note to always refer to these as ROMs and not games. So you're not downloading, you know, large, size, full games, most of these files are gonna be under 100 megabytes. A lot of them are gonna be even below 10 megabytes. And there are many ways to get ROMs imported into the Delta application. The tool that Delta recommends is GB Operator, which lets you convert your cartridges to ROMs to play on your computer or your iPhone. However, that is a paid solution, and that's something that really only you know enthusiasts are going to do. So the most common way, and the way you're most likely going to want to download and import these ROMs, is just through a simple Safari search and download. Now, once you do download those ROMs or those games, they will save to your iCloud drive. Now, what I would recommend is making a folder inside of your iCloud drive just named ROMs. That way you can organize this, you know, a lot better and keep track of all your ROMs a lot better. And if you don't know how to move files, it's very simple. Just go into the downloads here, which is where your games or your ROMs are going to download to. Just tap and hold and then go to move and then just select the new folder that you created called ROMs in the iCloud Drive section. And then once you've done that, just go back into Delta and go to the top right and click on the plus icon. And you have two options here, either iTunes or files. So we're going to import our ROMs from the files application, and it's going to open up Delta by default, but you want to just tap again on browse down here. And then you want to go to your locations, iCloud drive. And then from here, you should see your ROMs folder, or you could just go into downloads and select it from there. And then you just want to select whatever applications or ROMs that you have downloaded downloaded, just select the zip file. You do not need to unzip those files, keep them as zip files, and then just tap on open and it will auto import them and auto categorize them by the game system. And some of these will come with the artwork, but some will not. So you can see down here, we have Super Mario Bros Deluxe, which did not come with any artwork and it looks really bad down there. So to change that, just simply tap and hold on the game and you can go to change artwork. Now from here, you have multiple different options, but what I would recommend recommend is just to go to games database and then from here you just want to search whatever game it is so super mario and if you ever forget what the exact name of the game is you can just swipe down here to see a preview of it so this is for the game boy color so there we go it looks like it's right here so simply tap on that and it will auto load it in there and now you have the artwork for that game and the same goes with renaming as well sometimes you will see some extra you know characters added in there like for goldeneye for example you can just tap and hold and go to rename and you can remove the excess 
you know, you and the exclamation point there or whatever may be included in the download file. So that is how you can download and import your ROMs into the Delta application. So now I want to cover some of the important settings that you need to know within Delta and also how to change your skins and all of that. So first off, let's go to the settings. So the settings is going to be up here in the top left hand corner. And from here you have multiple different settings. So first off, you can choose what controller you want to play as. So if for some reason you want to play as controller, you know, three or four or player three or four, you can choose that by just going into here and then selecting a touchscreen. It could also connect game controllers as well. So there are many game controllers supported. So you can see all of the controllers that are supported on the screen now. Now you can also change the skins and this is my favorite part. So you saw that I had the red Game Boy Advance skin at the beginning. That's because it shows up right here. So you can have a different skin for the portrait and the landscape version of every specific console that you have in here now there's a easy way to do this you just need to go to skins for delta.com so if you go into our safari here is skins for delta.com so if i wanted to have a different layout for game boy advance for example for maybe the landscape version we'll just go to this top one up here and we're going to go into this and just simply click on download let's make sure that downloaded so there we go it's downloaded so i'm going to go to this right here and i'm just going to move this into my uh, folder for roms that way everything is organized i will make a subfolder in there eventually but anyways let's go into delta again and now if i want to change from the default landscape skin i can just simply tap right there tap on the plus in the top right corner we're going to go into our roms folder right here and spice was the name of it so we're going to do that and we're going to tap on open and you can see it shows up right here so we're going to tap again and now we have that skin when we go to landscape mode with the game boy advance emulator and you can just do that for all of these different consoles and then below the controller skins we have the controller opacity so if you want to change the opacity you can you have game audio so if you want it to respect your silent mode so if you're in silent mode you're not going to hear any game audio but if you're out of silent mode you will you can change that right there you have haptic feedback for the control sticks and also the buttons and then right here is an important one so we have delta sync this is going to allow you to sync your games save data save states and cheats between devices so if you get a new device or if you want to maybe play on your ipad and then on your iphone and go back and forth you can do that with syncing so you do need to have this hooked up to your google drive or dropbox but you can do that right here and you will just need to sign in and then we also have home screen shortcuts right here so this allows you to quickly and easily play games by tapping and holding on the app icon and you can see the four games right there so you can have that set to recently played or you can manually select it if you want to okay so now i'm going to actually play a game and show you kind of how this works and some of the other additional features in here so you can see i do have the skin here for the game boy advance sp which is awesome you can see all the buttons here including the turbo button down there now if we go to menu you will notice that we have a few options here so we have save states so there are save states in this so you can save your game and also load your game at a future date and then we also have cheat codes so if you are into cheat codes you can add those there by clicking on the plus up in the top right and you can use action replay code breaker and also game shark codes and then if we go back we have fast forward which is a must if you play pokemon so what this does is it just runs the game at a faster pace so it's much much better to play pokemon because you don't have to sit there and tap a for 10 minutes on the long dialogue scenes so fast forward is a great feature and then we also have hold buttons and you can see when you press that it says select buttons to hold down so what this does is it basically allows you to keep specific buttons held down so that you can have your fingers free to press on additional buttons like for example if you're playing a racing game or mario kart you can hold down on a you can press a to hold down that way it's always going to be pressing on the gas and you're always going to be able to go forward and you could use your other fingers to do other things and of course anytime you want to get back to the main menu you can just press on menu and then the red main menu button right there and it will take you back right here where you can go through and see all your different games that you want to play so here is what the landscape version of the game boy advance emulator looks like and you can see i do have that custom skin on here now pokemon like i mentioned earlier is going to be very very slow so you definitely want to have where's the menu on here okay so some of these skins you'll notice have a different icon for the menu so it might get confusing but we're going to go ahead to fast forward just so this game goes a little bit faster i guess back in the day we had a much stronger a much longer attention span than what we do 
now. We're gonna go with Squirtle this time, just because I never used to do that back in the day. So we got Squirtle as our first Pokemon, and we're gonna nickname him A, I guess. We're just gonna do it really quickly. So now we're gonna have our first battle. This takes me back. I mean, this game takes me back. I remember it was right when we leave, yep. This is core childhood memories here, at least for me. There we go, we just won our first Pokemon battle, and you can see I'm gonna be on this all night. I can already tell. Apple Vision, what? Uh, I'm playing Delta all night. But anyways, guys, there you have it. That is Delta. That is the new emulator application available now on the App Store. It is awesome. Check it out. I will leave it linked down in the description below. Oh, and if you're wondering if this works on iPad, it does work on iPad, but it's not gonna be the full screen. So you can see you have it like this by default, but you can tap to zoom right there, and you can also play it in portrait mode. I think it's better in landscape mode though. So not bad, it actually looks good resolution wise for being a non-native iPad application. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Also be sure to subscribe in case I do any future updates on Delta. And if you just wanna see more iPhone and iOS videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. But anyways guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.